Hello. Hello, good friends. <laughs> Guess what? Coming at you with a, with a good video. Yeah. <laughs> Today's gonna be a good video. <laughs> Unlike the previous 500 videos we've done, today's the good one. <laughs> We know it. We can do it this time. We can do it. Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. Okay, the friends, we get tons of questions and comments of people saying like, I want to go to the gym. I want to work out, but I'm, I'm embarrassed. Um, I'm scared to go to the gym. Either I, they've been away from the gym for a long time or, or they've never been in the gym. Yeah, it's their first time. And a lot of them will say, I'm a bigger person. I'm nervous to go in the gym around all these people that are smaller than me or in better shape than me. I'm afraid that they're going to be judging me. We want to tell you when we went in the gym for the first time, when I went in for the first time, I was 16 and I was almost 200 pounds and I was super embarrassed. I didn't want to be there. I chose a time where I thought there would be the least amount of people. I went at five in the morning. I went in there. I was still embarrassed. I've had my head down. I was nervous, but the point was something at the back of my head said, you're worth this. Get in there. You deserve to be in there just like everybody else. I'll tell you the truth now, having gotten past the 200 all the way up to 275 pounds and then losing 130 pounds, when I walk in the gym, I still am self-conscious. And when Kyle and I are working out together, I'm not as self-conscious. But on my leg days, when we work out separately, we're both at the gym at the same time, but I'm in a different area doing my legs. I am so self-conscious. I am constantly going, oh gosh, all these girls in better shape are staring at me going, what is she doing? Her body is terrible. She shouldn't be doing that exercise. She doesn't deserve to do that exercise. She doesn't have good form. And then if there's like a group of guys around, I'm even more intimidated. And I feel like, oh my gosh, like why am I in the gym? I don't belong here. All these people are in way better shape. They all know more than me. They're, yeah, you they're... think all of it, you yeah. beat yourself up. And so what I wanna say is it doesn't matter what size you are, even the people that are the the, the biggest guys in the room or the, the girls with six packs or that are in perfect shape with, with booties and curves and everything that you want or that you, you think like, oh, they're in such great shape. Everyone is insecure. Everyone is in there and they're worried about all the people that are looking better than them because it doesn't matter what shape you're in, there's always somebody in better shape. What the point is though. There's always somebody younger better looking and in better shape just like me. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone in there gets points because they're in there. And what is everyone in there doing? Trying to get better. Or on their cell phone. <laughs> but people like us but are trying to improve. But there are a lot of people in there and we see people all the time that are going in there for the first time. And in my head, I'm giving them like a high five because I'm saying, good for you. I know how you must feel right now, weird and insecure and out of place, but you're here and you're trying. And, you and paid, that's what matters. You paid your 10 damn dollars, just like everybody <laughs> else in there. So yes. you deserve to be there. So own everyone, it. everyone deserves to be there. Don't and it's very hard to not worry. And you know, I can tell you don't worry. I have to tell myself not to worry. But at the end of the day, when I'm in there and I'm wobbling around because I'm on my last lay exercise and I'm like out of balance and I'm going, oh my gosh, you probably look like an idiot to all these people. I say to myself, remember that you used to be 130 pounds heavier. Remember how far you brought your body. No one else in the gym knows that or needs to know that. I know how far I've taken myself and I know how far I want to take myself still. And me and Nicole, and me and Nicole both have lost a, a lot of weight. So we both have loose skin. We're both insecure about that. But you yes. know what? We go in there and flop it around anyways. <laughs> my big boobs are flopping around. <laughs> my stomach's hanging out sometimes. Sometimes you're in a compromising position or a workout. Uh, mine always 
hangs out when I'm doing like squats or anything on leg day, it's always like pushing out and I get so embarrassed. But I say to myself, don't let that get in your way. Nothing you... can stop you in your way. Nothing will no. stop us. We are on a mission to improve ourselves. And so I, I say, laser focus in on what you're doing. Make this set burn. You're embarrassed of your body. You want it, You want your body to be better. So, so then you better get to work. And that's why we're all there to get better. So anybody staring yeah. at you is probably just insecure that other people are staring at them. And so now, and even tonight, we just came back from the gym. Even tonight, I started getting insecure and I said to myself, use it. So you think that person's staring at you, looking at you like you don't know what you're doing? Use it. So then I will rep out another four reps with proper form. And I did that tonight. I, I saw, I was starting to get, you know, self-conscious and comparing myself to other people. I said, then get better. And I, and I pulled another, you know, four perfect reps um, on the lat pull down. And then I went to the next machine and I said, you're, you want your back to look better? Use your lats and do it. So the friends just know everyone's in there trying to get better and you just getting there, you just thinking about joining the gym, you're already trying to be better. You, get you deserve. Points. You get points in our book. You get a high five in our book. If you're there, if you just show up, you're there at least. And we, get, make, we make fun of the people on their cell phones sometimes and at least they're there. We exactly. always say at the end of the day, at least they're there. That's what we say. Or we'll see someone doing something really weird that we didn't know was an exercise, you know, like... Like, you know, the gym fail like, form. Like I don't know. They're like warming up, I guess, but we'll, we'll laugh. But then we'll say, you know what? At least they're here. At least they came and they're trying. And that's all that matters. You, you went to the gym. You got the membership. You're there. That's all that matters, friends. And you know what? So, also, like, we often see people, and they might be staring at you, judging you, but who cares? But if you guys do, if you are in public or at the gym, because we have a lot of people that look at us like we're aliens, and yeah. sometimes we're trying to figure out. Maybe do they recognize us? Do they us? know us from YouTube oh, or yeah. something? So if you do recognize us, just know we're friendly beings. We don't bite. Yeah, you can, you can approach us. Yeah, because sometimes us. you know, like... They kind of know, like they they recognize you, but they're not sure if they can approach or something. We're we're pretty open, friendly people. Yeah, just wait till we're done our set, and then come over. Or you'll, <laughs> or you'll get hands on the hips. But the friends, what I do a little tidbit is if you think you're being judged, what I do now, like I said, is use it. If you're if you're so self conscious and you're like, oh gosh, everyone's staring at me. Give them a freaking show. That's what I say. Yeah, if they're gonna oh, watch yeah? you, might as well give them a show. Oh yeah, bud. You you don't you think you're judging me on my whatever machine you're on? Then I'm gonna give you ten more good proper reps. And I'm rep. gonna make a face. And like I'm gonna this go too. and I'm gonna go heavier. <laughs> and I'm gonna make my body better than yours. And that's what you do. <laughs> and I'm gonna stare you right in the eyes and make that face while I do it too. And do it. You know, actually, I do actually make that face and look at people that are staring at me. I do. I I go. And I just lift the weight and I'm like, yeah, guess what? I'm making my biceps bigger than yours. <laughs> well, you're working out your eyeballs. We're working out our biceps. <laughs> so that's what you do. And we make ourselves laugh and we just keep going. And that's how we keep growing. So friends, we hope that you enjoy this video and you get inspired. Yes, it's very hard to do something that's scary but you're worth it and you deserve to be there. So get your butt to the gym and, and don't care. And just know it was one of our biggest insecurities as well. So yes. you're not alone, it's very common. And we know exactly what you're, you're feeling. Like I said, my first time in the gym, I was 16 years old and I was almost 200 pounds and I was so embarrassed. I, I honestly went in the gym every day like this with my head down, I didn't look up. I couldn't talk to anyone. There was a really nice older person there that tried to help me. He was a, a bodybuilder. He tried to help me with my form, but I was so insecure. I couldn't even listen to him. I was like embarrassed of everything. And that's a good so, point too. If, um, if someone does maybe try to help you or correct your form, 
they don't, mean well. Don't always take it as like, oh, they're judging me. Sometimes they have a they have a genuine heart and they're actually trying to just help. They just want to help. Take you. everything with a grain of salt while you're there as well because there are a lot of good people that that will yes. be at your gym or be regulars at your gym we seen someone the other day that noticed somebody lifting improperly and went over to help them and we always say to each other if someone who looked better than us came over and offered us advice we would take it in an instant now whereas before like i said i was offered advice and i was too insecure to take it but the friends like i said Get your butt to the gym. Who cares about other friends? Yeah, who cares? And and if you're not sure, you say, Kyle and Nicole are going to kick my butt if I don't get there. And if we were there with you, we'd kick other people's butts for judging you. Yeah, we would. We would just give them the doom. <laughs> so, so the friends, you get in there because we said so, and you work out like you never worked out in your life, okay? Yeah, we're we're freaks and we're aliens and we're weirdos. Embrace and all those, it. All those things deserve a spot at the gym too. Embrace the alien and get in there. <laughs> okay, so the friends, you tell us down below if you have ever been embarrassed to go in the gym or or felt insecure at the gym, and you let us know if you were. A if, little bit doubting going to the gym and then you seen this video and you went. You just tell us all your stories and share if you and plan, inspire the friends. Yeah, or if you're inspired by it or you want to inspire others that, hey, I was insecure too, but yeah. I went in there and it wasn't the worst thing in the world. Share share it all. We actually just had a friend on Instagram say, I, I'm really embarrassed to go to the gym. I don't want to go. And we said, you are worth this. You can do it. Don't worry about anyone else. You deserve to be there just as ever anyone else deserves to be there. And they went in there and they said before they knew it, they looked up and an hour went by and they had a good sweat going and, and had they a great were, workout. And they were really proud of themselves. So you can do it. So if you don't like it subscribing, you don't get your butt to the gym, you'll get in this, you'll get into fists, you'll get into boxing fists of doom. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye friends. Bye guys. <laughs> Our complete weight loss guide is finally here. We put our heart and souls into it, friends. It has 40 family-friendly recipes. Not only is there a two-week full meal plan for you, there is a blueprint on how to make your own. The toning moves to prevent loose skin, to tighten up the loose skin, it's all in there. Everything you will ever need to know, you ever wanted to know about how we lost weight, it is there. 